Hi everybody, I'm Louis Bergeron, application expert at Robotic. Uh, welcome to this lesson. Uh, we're going to do today a finishing application with this uh, kind of part here. It could be uh, wood parts or metal parts. Uh, we're going to use our finishing kit with uh, the bracket, which is already installed on the robots. We have the senders. Uh, mechanically, uh, everything is done, except that we didn't pass the pneumatic hoses and the uh, uh, vacuums, but more or less we have installed all the mechanical stuff uh, and at first we're gonna just look at how we have configured this uh, sender so it's plugged on the controller on the uh, configurable uh, output zero. Here in the uh, installation tab we can set where we have uh, connect this uh, sender so uh, by using this, we're going to be able to start and stop the sender uh, in the program itself. So we have started with uh, a brand new program, an empty one. So we're going to really doing it from scratch uh, at the starting point. And normally what we have as a starting point is a standard move chain uh, for an own positions. So let's say that we're going to use this as a, the own positions. So just teaching it. And I'm going to uh, tell it that it's going to be the, the waypoint for own. So that's the starting point. Uh, certainly what we want to achieve is right now is applying a force against the surface. Uh, so we're going to need a force node to be able to apply a force while we're gonna uh, execute the trajectories against the parts. So we're gonna use the force control nodes. And right now we're gonna use the force control node to apply a force against the parts. So it's gonna be in the direction of the tool in the Z direction of the tools. So we must select in the tool directions and we're gonna say that we're gonna apply a force in the Z for example, I can see uh, 10 newtons in this uh, direction. We are going to also use the target positions as a reference for the, the force control node to keep this information we're going to teach uh, against the parts. We're going to use uh, the pad generator nodes to execute the surface we need uh, to sand or polish or, uh, or buffing this surface. In this tool, the patch generator, we have two tools, the, the four points and the six points. When we're looking at this surface here, if we want to polish the entire surface, we can, we saw that we have two kinds of surface. One right here is more line between lines, so it's basically linear surface everywhere, so we have line. And here what we have is a curve in one direction, so we have a curve in these directions, but it's still aligned in the other directions. So we, with the tools, we have the, those two nodes here. We saw that the four points, uh, we can use it to execute a, a surface which is composed of line exclusively. So it's gonna be perfect for this area. So we're gonna start with the uh, four points path generator to execute the first surface. At first, we need to define the surface by the starting point, which is the point number one. On this here, we're going to teach the first point, which must be on the corner as the starting points. I'm going to orient the sander because basically we have the vacuum hoses, which is going to be a better orientation for the tools. And then we have the first corner right here. As we look at the uh, pictures in the interface, we saw that if we want to travel uh, like this, so a lot of paths in these directions, uh, we can see that the point here is going to be the point number three. So we're going to have a travel from one to the point number three, which I'm going to teach right now, the point number three. I'm going to still use the active drive to teach the second points. All 
right there. And then here on the point number two, so we're going to travel back and forth up to the junction between those two surfaces, the flat surface and the curved surface. For the curved surface, we must start at the junction of the boat of surface. So it's gonna be roughly in this area. So for the point number two, I'm gonna use the junction between both to go on the, uh, with the four points pad generators. Right there. And we're gonna hand this first surface at the end points. Just over here. So that's the first surface we have done. Uh, before entering this node, we must just make an approach point just uh, on top of the point number one, which is on the corner right here. So if I go back on the point number one, which is the starting point of the process here, we're gonna make an approach point just before entering the fourth node. So I'm gonna teach a waypoint just over it. So I'm gonna add a waypoint for the approach. Um, I'm going to set this approach point just over to start the process of descending. And I'm going to name this point the approach point. For the process itself, we need also to make a zero to the force torque sensor uh, internally to make sure that we have a constant force every, uh, every time. So just before the own point and the approach point, we're going to place a zero sensor node and make sure that we wait for the robot to be steady before making this zero. And then it will go to the approach point and then it will enter the force control node and it will start to control the robots to apply the force. And then it will go to the point number one of the four points uh, pad generator node. On the pad generator node, I'm, I will have to say at which speed I will have to travel. So let's say, let's say uh, 60 millimeters per second. And then we must define at which interval we want to have all the entire process to be done. So all the back and forth will be separated by uh, by default, we have 30 millimeters. Let's say that we won't have 40 millimeters between all those paths. And then the, uh, we have select that we want to end at the point number four here. So that's the, the first part of the program, so just to make the flat surface. So, and then we must also start the sender. Basically, we must start the sender as soon as we're gonna be in contact with the parts. So just by between the approach point and the, the pad generator node. Inside the force control node, we're gonna start the sander. So just by going onto contact with the surface. So here we have the node to start the finishing tool. That gonna, I'm going to place it just over the four point pad generator and I've select start tool. We have already defined which uh, IO we have used uh, previously the configurable output zero. And now I'm going, uh, the tool is going to start the sender at the beginning of the process. I'm going to show you that uh, something which could be a very important if, if in fact and somehow the robot stops, I certainly want my sender to stop also because if it stay on the same place and running, we can have some burns or problems uh, with the parts. So on the installation tab, just to make sure that the sender will stop, we can, for example, configure the, uh, the configurable output, which is right here. And to have a special action on it, to put it low if the program is not running. So at any point, if the program stops, uh, 
this output will put it at a low state and the sender will stop. So it will prevent any fire or any damage to the parts. And then when the process is finished by output at the output of the force control node, when everything will be done, we're gonna use the, the same finishing tool to stop it, to stop the sander. As a trial, we may try this first section of the process right now. So if we start it, we're gonna have the first section of the programs which will be uh, already done. So it's exe executing the surface by back and forth. So the path generator is generating everything needs to move to the entire surface and while applying a force and then we have a full control of the speed and the force. And we have set an interval between all those back and forth to cover uh, the first section of the parts. Now we're going to teach the second section of the parts, which is the curve pass uh, here. Uh, and we're going to use the, the patch generator six point tools. So the patch generator 6.2 tool allow us to make a surface which is composed of two circle arc and those two circle arc are uh, joined by line between the two arc. So if we can saw here, we're gonna have an arc right there and an arc on the other side. And to make it as a smooth, we're gonna use the end of the first sections so we're going to go to the last point of the first section, which was the point number four. So if I go there, so that was where my first four points has ended. And I'm going to start right at this exact same spot for the six point path generator node. So here I'm going to have the exact same point. So they are built to be place at the, at the end of each other to have a continuous uh, surface. So what we're gonna teach now is the entire surface. So I'm gonna teach the first arc, which is composed of the point number one, number two, and number three. And then I'm going to go on the other side to teach the second arc, which is the point number four, five, and six. So let's start the teaching process.
So right now we have teached all the entire surface with, of the six point. Then we're going to be able to set at which speed we want to have the sender to move and what is the interval between each of those paths. So previously, we can saw that we have select 60 millimeters per second and a spacing of 40 millimeters. So we're gonna use the same setting. So 60 millimeters per second and a spacing of 40 millimeters. And we can select that we're going to do linear pass. Linear pass meaning that we're gonna travel back and forth on the linear uh, surface here because the other choice we have is curved pass. So we, the, all the paths will be curved, which is not what we need on this particular example. So we're gonna use linear pass to the surface. And the process will finish at the point number six, which is this point. What we can do just at the output of the process is make a retract point, which is going to be just over here and we must have the stop tool just prior to that, just stop and then retract. I'm just gonna name retract. And then we can make a trial. So let's start the process. So we have the first four points patch generators, which is going to execute the first section, which is combined, uh, composed just with linear surface. And then at the end, you're going to continue the process to go on the second section with the six point. So probably there, gonna goes on the six point and is going to start the process of making all those linear paths through this curved surface here. And still at the same force apply with the tool. And now that we have finished learning how to use the patch generator nodes in a process like this for a finishing application to be able to, to teach an entire surface while applying a force with our uh, sending kit and all these finishing co-pilot uh, node we have for you.